toilets and death. That's the the topics we can't get away from. But that's the thing I noted as a, a backup topic if we ran out of something to talk about because we have previously been talking about toilets and you have done some smartifying or ad- additions <laughs> to a toilet and Multiple, I have yes. thought about this. It's hard to admit actually how much I've thought about this, but I think it's my uh, designer upbringing that a toilet is... Is that the most efficient way of doing it? I mean, even the most advanced ones are... It's the same basic component, and then you have a lot of added (laughs) tech to it, like heating, music, water splashing, and so on. But the basic function is the same. And then, of course, a few years ago, somebody came up with the idea that you should have your legs elevated. So then, of course, you got this small step stools or something to put your feet on. But nobody has ever done something to do like the core structure of a toilet. And I've been thinking, like, is there not a better way of doing it? Or is this the top? I mean... I mean, there's the there's the there's the ISS toilet, which is basically a vacuum that you put on, your <laughs> yeah, well, and it just kind mom. of assists that you have to aim really well. Well, no, 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 because it like suctions onto the. But, the but, you, but you have to. No, it doesn't suck. suck no, it, you just have to aim really well. I, I've seen the interviews with astronauts where they have the training things where they sit and they have a camera mounted and you have to aim your your things to go the right way and you have to remember. Oh, I'm gonna sit like this, and then and then everything it's the goes. The one part the... of going to space I don't think I want to deal with. Yeah, it doesn't well, that, seem nice. That's the thing. I think it's uh, something they did in Britain actually that they started putting like these uh, fake flies into urinals at pubs because then people would automatically just aim and try to hit the fly, but that will also make for less spill it on works. the floor, which is also, of course, wall-to-wall carpet, so it's a win-win. <laughs> Not in pubs. Pubs, uh, uh, pubs just always gross me out. They just look like a farm, like a farm feeding thing, because it's just a wall that's yeah. just one big urinal, and you just piss on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. There was a, a a thing that came into fashion a couple of years ago. It was sticking an air freshener actually to the back of the bowl of the toilet, and that always used to be an aiming thing. See if you could blast it off. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's been a meme going along. There's been a meme going around for a while where it's like the, uh, the where you pee on the in the toilet <laughs> asserts your dominance, like directly in the middle, <laughs> maximum dominance because it makes the most noise. <laughs> and then there's off to the side where it's the least nice. <laughs> well, that depends on the situation, I think. <laughs> I, I'm a maybe it's the engineer in me as well, but I, I'm a bit of a germaphobe when it comes to certain things. I'm, I'm always thinking, where is the best possible angle to hit in the toilet for least amount of backslash? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought for one minute you were going to tell us you sat down for a wee then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at home I can do that because then you can scroll on your phone for hours while you get some uh, break from your kids. But in public bathrooms... Oh, God, no, you don't that, want that, that, that's, that's a different <laughs> story. <laughs> I, I, I can open a door. I, I can open a door at a public bathroom and like, nope, <laughs> just turn around. <laughs> like, that's not happening. You know what? I think I'm gonna hold it in. I'm gonna practice my kegels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so some places are, I I rather pee myself and live with that <laughs> than. Uh, yeah. No, there, there there are some videos. I've been considering remaking a previous video I did about my toilet. <laughs> just to see if I can make it even smarter and annoy the internet people even more. <laughs> some some things I'm just like, I actually just want to kind of make this smart like my washing machine, but there's some things like my toilet being <laughs> flushed automatically when I walk away. Like, how complicated can I make it to annoy people? <laughs> like, I want it to flush. I wanted to sense that I've sat down. I, I've got a really fucking funny video coming on April Fool's. I've not recorded it yet, but it's going to be so <laughs> funny. 
<laughs> but uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's oh, it's going to be funny. <laughs> How does your yeah. partner feel about you um, upgrading all the household appliances and toilets and things? She doesn't mind the appliances. The toilet is a bit, a bit of a touchy topic, especially after I made it talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which one did she prefer the the one who liked being used or the one that didn't like i mean <laughs> luckily that wasn't on the toilet for longer than i was recording so <laughs> chicken <laughs> <laughs> so it was on i recorded everything i needed to record and then i took it off because oh god no i wouldn't want to use that either <laughs> i mean it was it was really funny i mean i've, I've heard alan pan talk about it Mm. again and again and then you just did it that yeah felt, it felt so nice just... I'm, I'm still waiting for alan pun to reply yeah i, I mean <laughs> he, he never gets anything done i feel like so but people no. are always doing his things before him i mean he hired a production assistant and he's still not putting stuff out so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I i i mean i i wouldn't want a toilet that talked to me in that way either but the 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 we uh but breaks uh, screen music. That was kind of nice. Just having a a <laughs> reminder that you're on the toilet uh, as a timekeeper. The time the time aspect <laughs> yeah. is really nice. I'll, I'll I'll some some people then. need that more than others. I'll, I'll, I'll put in the a... timer, but it'll be instead of being activated by somebody sitting down, it'll just be the lid being up. <laughs> be yeah. uh, easier to maintain. Yeah, but on the subject of of sensors, and this is actually a nice loop back because that was actually at the offices when I worked in uh, Poland. Um, when I moved there for four months, they have actually gotten brand new offices and everything was like automated, the uh, the AC, the HVAC, everything. And of course, all the lights were controlled by uh, by timers and the sun and of course, and the toilets uh, also had a light sensor. So that when you went in there, <laughs> it registered that you came in. So it turned the light on, which is nice. So you don't have to have people touching the light switch. And then you don't move. And, and, then, it turns and then I went into a stall and <laughs> did business that required me for sitting down. And of course, the timer switch were set to one or two minutes. So if that didn't see motion, <laughs> it turned the lights off. And then, of course, the sensor so didn't see the movement. So the question is, what do you do then? Because I was sitting there in complete darkness. I could, of course, um, I could sit and wait until someone came in. And then they would realize, well, I came into a completely dark room and they're sitting someone here. What's the weirdo who's sitting in a dark stall? Of course, I, I tried throwing paper or trying to reach up and wave my arms, but that didn't, of course, work. And then, of course, I could open the door and push that away from me because then I had a free line of sight to the sensor. But of course, the doors they had this uh, slow close function to not make a racket. So then, of course, there's a window there of 20 seconds while I'm pushing up the door while I'm sitting on the toilet where it takes 20 seconds for the door to come back. And what if someone comes in then seeing that Norwegian intern sitting there with an open stall in complete darkness while they're coming in? How do you explain that when you basically don't speak the language? <laughs> so it's like... What? So you ended up sitting there and just concluding that, all right, uh, I'll just have to imagine I'm a blind person and just get on with it and then go out. But yeah, that's uh, someone didn't of weird think do you through want to the be? design process there. <laughs> I'm sure you weren't the only person who's been caught in that problem in that office. No, m most likely not. Uh, but I might be the one who overthought it too much <laughs> <laughs> i mean i do have a so yeah i do have in my bathroom a emotion sensor for the light and when you do just sit there on your phone for like 10 minutes it does go off but luckily it's like within arms <laughs> 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 but it does happen uh, yeah but that's um, the event that's should invent some sort of wipe for your phone after you've been sat on the toilet scrolling. <laughs> uh, they already make that. There's a there's a UV light box where you just put your phone in for ten minutes and it shines a, a UV light on it and it kills oh, okay. all the germs. <laughs> so if you go into the toilet and then you have to wait for ten minutes while something <laughs> is radiating your phone, that's. <laughs> I 
mean, if I'm not at my phone, I'm at my computer. It's it's never it's very rarely both the things at the same time. What is that uh, uh, screwdriver that you're using? The motorized. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I envy that a lot. <laughs> I was gonna say, it doesn't have a brand on it, so I can't help you there. But uh, yeah, these not are, not, uh, not sponsored or anything. But Bosch no, actually no, no. has one. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a bit bulky, uh, so we're really interested in that one because it uh, looks like small and lean. Uh, it's fine for like small electronics. Anything yeah. bigger, like it can just about take apart maybe like this car. But uh, anything like bigger, it, it kind of struggles. Like it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do the monitor I did with it yesterday. But uh, it doesn't have a specific brand on it. I think they're just called like precision electric screwdrivers. And they usually come in with like a set of uh, of like sixty four bits, but because this is my second one, I uh, I have more than more than that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So yeah, it charges with like USB C. It's got like two speeds. Yeah, it, it works most fine for most. It works fine for most things. But can you, if you're not using the motor, can you then use it for a higher torque? If you want to loosen a screw. You can use it partially, manually then. Partially. Yeah. Uh, so what I end up doing when I need more torque is you actually end up holding it down uh, uh, on while it's like, like it for the unscrew thing so that it kind of locks the, the screwdriver ag against the motion you're trying to turn. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of ah, does that, okay. but then the motor has like an overcurrent protection thing, so it just stops. So uh, yes and no, depending on how far you need to <laughs> torque it. I think it'd be worth yeah. getting one of those just to uh, change the batteries in toys and things. Yeah, it would be good for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but by the time you like take the screwdriver out, you take the bit out, you could just pull out a screwdriver from a set. <laughs> sure and then, oh no, it. the screwdriver's dead. <laughs> you charge it again. <laughs> and it doesn't work plugged in. I don't know whose idea that was, but. <laughs> oh, that's. Uh... Glenn knows everything about that, buying his new fancy <laughs> camera with batteries you can't charge. <laughs> can yeah, do we have a camera it? update? No, nothing new, I'm afraid. Oh. Not this week. <laughs> Wait, can you actually not charge it? How is it? No, you can You can only charge the batteries while they're in the camera. There's no separate charger. So it oh, does it new... run off of... Um... Can you run it off of the USB power? And... Yes, yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, you can. I was going to say, I could just like yeah. 3D print you a, a fake battery that you could just plug into the wall. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> if you could 3D print me a charger for the spare battery, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. <laughs> could probably that, that's get like what... a really cheap charger for it. I was thinking uh, along those lines, making my own adapter, and I'm... Of course, I've been speaking a lot about getting a laser, but I'm also looking now into a 3D printer. But then, of course, it's uh, I just followed a, a new Norwegian, which is a prop maker, and is doing a lot of resin-based. Um, of course, I need to look into that, and then it's the price range. But also, I would like to have the nice finish uh, for some of the things that I plan to do, but it's like... It's like this opening a, a door. It's like opening a upon. door to a hoarder's house. There, is, there is so much. <laughs> to this is a topic just... we could spend multiple hours talking about. <laughs> yeah, so as so I just ended up closing the door. No, I can't really take any of this in now. <laughs> so... You need a friend with three D printers at the moment, <laughs> where you, where you can get someone to do the actual prints, and you get to feel them and see, and then you perhaps can be able to decide or realize that that friend it's it suits me enough yeah <laughs> but it's like, like i'd be that friend to... but it's a bit expensive to send stuff back and forth from yeah. uh, local friend yeah local, local friend. Friend. that that's one thing and then of course i don't want to <laughs> burden a <the> friend <laughs> with too much because it, it might pile on real quick here's the thing a, a people with 3d printers like talking about their 3d printers yeah. <laughs> so if you show interest they, they will be they will be engaged and maybe they would need something cnc or something like that and you can exactly yeah. trade back yeah that's true maybe you should set up like a a trading post <laughs> yeah i need this i can make this and then you have a uh, just going around did yeah. you figure out your 
did you figure out your lasering problem, uh, by the way, Tom? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I, I got a message from Thomas um, a while ago asking me if I could laser some sort of uh, belt for him. Oh, so I cool. got the belt. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, so this is part of a, like a one meter long belt, but the yeah. problem is I can't use this one because it's got like a metal core. Yeah. So it doesn't bend to the radius I need it to bend. Got you. But also I've also figured out uh, other problems I can't... Uh, God, this is going to be... The, yeah, sizing wise, it, the, the thing I'm working on would have to be a lot taller than I would want just because of some limitations. Yeah. So I might actually end up. Um, f- I had it here somewhere. Where the hell did it go? Oh, I know where it is. <laughs> so I actually ended oh, up. The, 3D the auto tracking my own camera belt. didn't work there. <laughs> oh, I, I don't have it turned on. <laughs> That's why. Uh, I actually ended up just 3D printing my own belt. Because oh, wow. I can because I can print it continuously as one circle, yeah. which is actually better because at some point it has to go over the connection spot. Yeah, uh, it's, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm probably just going to end up 3D printing it, which unfortunately means I'm probably not going to need to laser laser cut a thing. That's but fine, yeah, I mean, I'd have probably screwed it up for you anyway, mate. No, <laughs> I mean, I mean, the idea was to like engrave something in here, yeah. but um. Yeah, I don't know how well that would go. 3D printing is a very deep rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Apparently. That, that's, that was what I realized as well. And if I, I take that dive, I, I won't come up again for the foreseeable future. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, in most cases, you don't end up... You either walk away hating 3D printing or you walk away with multiple 3D printers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hence why I have two. <laughs> and we're working on getting a third. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Have, MDF you tried print- out, have you tried out any of the cheap 3D printers? I was looking on Timu the other week. We were talking about it just after the podcast. And there was one How on Timu for a... How are we talking? £10. That's <laughs> not going to be a 3D printer. That sounds like a lie. <laughs> that sounds like a lie. I don't um, know. You're talking to the guy that got a working drone off of Timu for under three quid, so... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the listen, it's worth the video. <laughs> yeah. <It's, laughs> yeah. If it's 10 quid, do it for the video. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I'm like, I've never ordered anything from Teamu, but isn't Teamu just dying right now? I don't know. As a first time buyer, you'll probably get it for about 50p. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'd am i be interested in taking a look at. Wow, 3D printer is the first search term. Yeah. You know me. As a, first, uh, as a first time buyer, you should probably get you'll probably get ninety percent off yours off your first order. I mean, there's eighty, a hundred, hundred and forty, uh, ninety seven pounds. I'm not seeing anything below that. I showed, I sent you the picture, didn't I, KJ? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Never, yeah, I'll have a look at it later. But uh, yeah, yeah, if you can get it for ten pounds, <laughs> definitely get it and make the video because. Honestly, if, if if anything, it's worth for, worth it for the content. I, I thought about it for a video, and I thought I could just show me unboxing the thing, and then asking I mean, the just, question, is this any good? And then just showing a picture of me throwing it in the bin. <laughs> no, no, just no, try printing end. one thing, and then yeah. just realize it's shit, and then just go, well, never mind that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, a decent printer is like a hundred, well, depending on the sale, and with Black Friday coming up now, you could probably get it for like a hundred pounds, like a wow. decent, uh, like a relatively decent printer. Like, it, especially if, if, if it's your first printer, something like the Ender 3 Pro, which is the one I started with. So I'm probably a bit biased, but um, yeah, probably get it for like a hundred pounds. And it's, it's honestly, I still use it to this day. How do you hmm. rate the, is it Creality uh, printer? Creality a lot of, Ender a lot 3 of Pro, answer. yeah. A lot of those ads have been coming up lately. They've got some. Yeah, good well, both on. of mine are Creality printers. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, they're 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 really good. Right. I, I yeah, I, I stand by them. I mean, if you've got the cash, uh, I'd go for like a bamboo. Uh, oh god, I forget what bamboo it's called. Lab. Bamboo bamboo lab something something. Yeah. But um, they're like over a thousand pounds, but they're also really nice printers. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you get you get 
you get creature comforts like um, it, it automatically like scans the filament so that it, it optimizes for the different filaments you use. You can put multiple filaments in at the same time and it will switch between them. Uh, yeah, but yeah, uh, you end up paying for it, but it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I looked at that one after, I think it was uh, Steve that got one recently. Uh, yeah. I listened to the podcast and then I was just going through their webpage and I saw the price range that you talked about, but then also you get them with uh, the surrounding cabinet and, ooh, of course I want that. And all right, that's 700 pounds. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's stacked on really quick. So I ended up like uh, passing 2000 pounds easily. And then, but that's also the mental image I have that that's probably the level you have to be at if you want something that is plug and play and works kind of out of the box without any hassle. But of course, it's it's so much out there. I would feel comfortable spending that amount on a bandsaw because I feel that I have a good overview over what's out there and what the technology is and the benefits and not. But with regards to 3D printers, I don't have a clue. So it's like um, if you're saying, all right, you could get a decent one for a few hundred quids, it's like, Okay, wow. I would probably have spent ten times that and thought I got a good deal. <laughs> We're talking to the guy that spent nine grand on his first CNC. <laughs> oh God, really? <laughs> nine grand? It was plug you and play. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. And of course, um, it's it, it's got the industrial uh, DC powered. Uh, spindle with it with with its own converter and so on so yeah i went all out on that one but still i i only cried the first week and, and now i'm very <laughs> pleased i'm i'm, I'm I, seeing other people got uh like the budget version with the smaller and like yeah but you you can't cut I, aluminium can you <laughs> of course I've been really, not admitting i really... never have <laughs> <laughs> I've been really considering the um there's a company called Carva Carvera Carvara Carvera something like that and um, they they just well just they recently came out with a with a CNC but it, it has all of the cool features of like being able to cut things like aluminium it's like relatively small fully enclosed but it also does like it it can also carve PCBs which is mostly what I'm after Wow. But it's like five grand. I'm, I I emailed yeah, the buy, company. Buy it. Come I, on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have that much money. <laughs> I think it I'm was gonna, you. I'm gonna, wait. Let Let me refresh my AdSense. Let me, let me see. <laughs> mm, not in the budget. <laughs> yeah, it is. But when you mentioned that, because I think it, it's you who mentioned that earlier, the possibility of actually making your own pcbs that really got me into maybe i should get one of the small cheaper ones which would basically be specific for that because all the pcbs i'm needing aren't that big i mean uh, it's if you have a like a small cnc if it can make up to the size of a motherboard of a computer that is more than i will ever need yeah i was gonna get one but then um by the time I decided, the the price of them kind of went up during like COVID, and they went from like 150 to like 300 pounds, and I'm like, oh, okay, I don't want it anymore. Mm. <laughs> it's just not worth that price. But yeah, I, I, I did consider one of those. Yeah. That's a that's a nice thing about fixing things in edit, which I don't think all the watchers on YouTube really realize how much you actually <laughs> make things fit in post. Oh, I've, I, oh God, I have a video coming out next week and there's a part in it where my microphone completely disconnected, but like I was far enough where you couldn't exactly see my mouth moving. So I just dubbed it over. Mm, <laughs> great. <laughs> oh. so I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Didn't look like some plan, sort of... I'm going to watch that video over and over again just <laughs> if to you find, can out find where it. Where is the. <laughs> if you can comment the timestamp, I'll. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, it, you'll probably be able to find it, but I think I did a pretty good job. It doesn't look I like some it in sort like of. Roughly the same environment. Doesn't look like some sort of old kung fu movie then. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I feel like that would have made it better. Absolutely. <laughs> just suddenly, sort of like half blurred <laughs> subtitles on the bottom. <laughs> But I've I've done that more than I care to admit uh, when I 
I really got a take, which I'm really, ooh, I nailed it. But then it's one word that really doesn't match or I really botched the pronunciation. And then I just go back using the same microphone and I just take a 10, 15 shots of me pronouncing <laughs> that word. And then I go back into my yeah, living room and then I see just well. f- finding the clip that actually match. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, nobody would ever have noticed and people don't really care about you mispronunciation one word, but still, <laughs> still a few things that you get hung up on. But you I hear it all the time and you can't unhear yeah. it. <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, pre- videos that I used to do before with my headphones on where I used to have like one word that I would mispronounce. And it, it happened so often, I just had to keep telling myself I have to stop recording without my headphones because I couldn't hear it when I was recording. So, yeah, it was painful every time. Like, oh, great, I could have avoided that. Because, <laughs> yeah, get, you know, get better with time. Still can't pronounce things properly, but... <laughs> That's that's how it is. I think it's only yes. Glenn here who has English as his native tongue, so he's the only um, one who can't pull an excuse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's the only one who has to be ashamed of his uh, upbringing. <laughs> Thanks, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> I think I mispronounce things more than you guys. Yeah, but we don't know it. You can claim that this is the right, right word, like the 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 suspenders uh, braces thing. I mean, we still don't believe you, but we we kind of trust that you know what you're speaking. Well, about. let me put it this way for you, KJ. Imagine me in braces, and then imagine me in suspenders. <laughs> which which do you prefer? To me, that's the same thing. So. <laughs> it's a completely different image when I envisage you in them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think our correct interpretation of suspenders and braces that's the thing that you have on your teeth so i don't think it's yeah. but what language too disturbing speak- image what, what language are you speaking right now an <laughs> amalgamation <laughs> of different kinds of english <laughs> <laughs> definitely not just british english <laughs> <laughs> no no definitely not I, I end up finding out that there's a lot of american english that creeps up in my vocabulary as i speak but that's just because I was raised on a lot of American movies and shows. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's creeping in with my daughter, actually. She she starts, she speaks more American English than British English from YouTube, basically. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Happens quick. I think, I think it was, I'm probably going to botch his name, but Gillian Murphy, uh, the actor. Uh, his children actually started talking American and he said, this won't do. So he moved back to Ireland <laughs> and I always, I discussed this with my wife. She's better at um, speaking English than I am. And it would be nice to maybe move and have a year or two, maybe in England, just to get the proper flow of talking and get the pronunciation right. Because if I could choose, I would like to have the British English rather than the American English. I mean, again, that changes from, like, different boroughs here as well. Yeah, that's what my yeah. thing is. <laughs> what kind of London, English West do London. And it's very different. Where are you going to go? <laughs> yeah. You can and stay course, in the middle, but of... that's way too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but also thinking about it, and as I'm getting older, I would like, but no, I would rather move up north to Scotland or even over to maybe Ireland to get that accent because I like that now even more than the British English, but they, they sound nicer. Yeah. Uh, you could, uh, you could move to Nottinghamshire where I'm from and I can give you a, a little bit of a, a greeting from my neck of the woods, if you like, and it would go something like, hey, up me duck, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want your kids talking like that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I come from a part in Norway where we have a very distinct dialect. And of course, now my two daughters are growing up talking the more plain version of Norwegian. So, of course, from that perspective, I would rather have them uh, learn a dialect or something which has a much more character to it than uh, the plain old, I call it. Yeah, I don't know how you even translate that to English. <laughs> so talking the of standard boring one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> talking of uh, different dialects, where are you from, Thomas? Where do you originate? Uh well, 
Originally from, po well, born in Poland, mostly raised in England. My family moved over when I was like six. Okay. And then ever since then, it's just been England. So right. like, I speak like enough Polish to like talk to my parents. But apart from that, it's just all English. Ah, very good. Yeah, yeah studied you... young, so. Yeah. Do your yeah. parents live in London as well? Oh yeah, yeah, they live like yeah. a ten minute cycle away. Yeah, oh, but okay. uh, but yeah, they they again, it's the language you surround yourself with. It's because as a child, you sur you go to school, you surround yourself with English, you watch English TV, English just becomes part of your life, and that's what happened to me. But my parents still kind of surround themselves with Polish, Polish people, Polish TV. Yeah. So they still, yeah, they 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 still the majority speak Polish. But um. Yeah, we get along. It's becoming more and more difficult because I keep forgetting words in Polish and I'm like, well, shit, I hope you guys understand. <laughs> that, that's I'm going to have to say this one word in English. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I, I, I didn't move away um, at that early age and stayed outside of Norway for so many years as you stayed outside of Poland, but... I still forget words in Norwegian because the English word pops up and that might be because the English word is maybe a bit more descriptive of what you're trying to tell mm. than the Norwegian one. And speaking a lot of English through work, it has now become like a second language in my everyday use. So of course, a lot of the people I also work with are also bilingual so they are also used to like cherry picking some words here and there to describe what they think regardless of what language that word is from and it's it's really weird when you find yourself in situation outside of work uh, especially talking to someone that's hasn't been moving around uh, and maybe only speaks Norwegian sometimes mm -hmm. you end up just blurting out the word without even thinking about it and they're like what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had that a couple of times with my partner, but that was just like when we were, I think at a Polish store or something, and I just said the name of something. He's like, the hell did you just say? It's like, oh, yeah, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, 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 yeah. I end up having to like translate when she's, when we're with my parents as well, because she's uh, British. So we end up having, I end up having to translate. But sometimes, like, she, there's this entire chunk of conversation. I'm just like, yes, she did not like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it, yeah. Translating is a difficult job. I don't, I don't yeah. know how the professionals do it. A good translation is, yeah, that's really tough. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, yeah. I always find when, um, you know, as an English person, whenever you're in the same room as anybody that starts talking in their own language, we just automatically, I think we think we're being talked about. <laughs> <laughs> You're just saying bad things about us. Uh, we yeah, are. Which is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, we are. 95% of the time. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, given given how the British have acted around the world the last couple of hundred years, we're talking about you behind your back. Yeah. <laughs>